And a judge is expected to decide tomorrow whether to unseal the affidavit behind the FBI search of former President Trump's Florida estate. Trump is calling for the affidavit's release, but the Justice Department says that could compromise its investigation. Our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran, joins me live now from Washington with more on this. Uh, Terry, thanks for coming on. The, the judge holding this hearing is the same one who approved the search warrant of Mar-a-Lago. So what can we expect tomorrow? That's right. So a ju magistrate judge Bruce Reinhardt, and that's a, a kind of federal judge who handles a lot of the, the business, the in the weeds of of court business in the federal court system. And so he was the one who did approve the original search warrant uh, for Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. And now uh, there is a move by uh, media organizations, including ABC News, uh, to get that uh, affidavit, the sworn affidavit that federal investigators used to justify that search, released to the public, unsealed and released to the public. Donald Trump wants it made public, he says, although he knows it's unlikely to happen because the Justice Department opposes it on two basic grounds. They say, first, that releasing it to the public could, as they say in their in their court filings, quote, uh, sign cause significant and irre irreversible damage. It, it could also chill future cooperation by witnesses and put highly classified material at risk of exposure. So the Justice Department comes into this hearing with a couple of, of really the trump cards, so to speak. On the one hand, courts generally defer to the federal government's concerns and about classified material. And on the other hand, uh, these affidavits are often kept sealed in order to protect and maintain the integrity of an ongoing investigation. So it'll be hard for the media organizations and Donald Trump uh, to get this affidavit unsealed, which in the end may be what Donald Trump wanted all along. So, uh, Terry, how likely is it that the judge will keep this sealed, and what happens if he doesn't? I, as I say, I think he is going to keep it sealed uh, if he releases it. Now, there's never been a case like this. That This is a case of tremendous pub public interest. The leader of one of the political parties uh, of a movement, a mass political movement, Donald Trump, had his house, and former president of the United States, had his house searched. We've never had anything like that, so the public interest in this is very, very high. And as a result, uh, the judge may feel that in the public interest, people should see something, a redacted version of this uh, affidavit, sworn affidavit. But we'll see. If he doesn't, then we'll just have to wait and see what the Justice Department has, if, in fact, it ever comes to, to uh, a charging document. Document. And Terry, we're now learning that the FBI interviewed top White House lawyers about uh, these missing documents allegedly seized from Mar-a-Lago. So what more do we know about that? Well, these are two of the inner circle of Donald Trump's White House. Uh, former White House counsel Pat Cipollone and his deputy Patrick Philbin, uh, ABC News has learned, have both been interviewed by the FBI about the handling of documents, presidential records, and classified material at Mar-a-Lago since, since Donald Trump left office. That's at the heart of this inquiry. What it shows is just how deeply uh, this inquiry is going. We don't know when those interviews happened. It's been going on for a while and how fast-moving it is now. This is a very serious grand jury investigation as to what was going on at Mar-a-Lago with those documents. All right, Terry Moran, thanks for that. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.